Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. This video in particular is extremely scary. The first one is John Wayne Gacy Jr. and he is known as an American serial killer and rapist. He's known to have sexually assaulted, tortured, and murdered at least 33 young boys and men between the years 1972 and 1978 in Cook County, Illinois. All of his murders took place inside of his Norwood Park Ranch house. His victims were typically lured to this house by force or deception. All but one of his victims were murdered by either asphyxiation or strangulation. But his first victim was murdered by him stabbing him to death. John then buried 26 of his victims in a crawl space in his home. Three of his other victims were buried elsewhere on his home property, and his last four known victims were discarded into the Day Plains River. He became known as the Killer Clown because of his charitable services at fundraising events, parades, and children's parties where he would dress up as Pogo the Clown or Patches the Clown which were characters that he had devised himself. Not to worry, Gacy was convicted of all 33 murders and sentenced to death on March 13th, 1980. On May 26, 1990, Marlene Warren was excited when she saw smiling Bozo the Clown at her front door. However, what she didn't know is that the person behind the mask was a murderer. The son of the victim said that he heard his mother say, oh, how pretty, when she opened the door, and then he heard a bang. At first, they thought maybe it was a balloon that popped, but then they saw their mother fall to the floor. Unfortunately, the woman died in the hospital two days later. It wasn't until 30 years later that they finally caught who that killer clown was. A woman named Sheila Keen Warren. Marlene Warren's husband's new wife. They were said to have an affair 30 years ago before getting married and Sheila Keen Warren wanted the man all to herself and she ended up shooting Marlene in cold blood dressed as a clown. This woman was then arrested last September in 2017. Kevin LaPierre was known for going on Belgium's Got Talent dressed as a clown. He was one of Belgium's leading children's entertainers. He even won an award for being the best clown in the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. This year in 2018, he was seen on Facebook Live having a standoff with the police while he was on a roof. The police were armed and this man was dangerous. He allegedly tied up and gagged him and his girlfriend's three children, aged 12, 15, and 17. He then left them in the attic before going down to the garage and killing their mother with a knife. He then broadcasted himself on Facebook Live, waving a pistol in the air, shooting and throwing a gas canister at the police down below. Four hours later, he surrendered and police arrested him for murder. On Sunday, November 25th, 2018, a Jackson barbershop owner was fatally shot to death by men wearing clown masks. 
According to the witness, it was four men all wearing clown masks and they surrounded this barbershop owner and just shot him and left the scene. The barbershop owner, also known as 41-year-old Marcus Hamblin, was sitting inside a vehicle with his gunshot wounds. He was later pronounced dead at the scene when the cops arrived. Police have still not caught these murderers. The last one I'm going to get into is about a man who wore demonic clown makeup and fatally slashed a 29-year-old homeless man to death. This happened in Denver in front of a really popular restaurant. The man behind the clown makeup is known as Chris Golzo Prunstein. And he fatally stabbed Brian Lucero in the early morning of May 23rd, 2017. Friends and family said that Chris was a lonely, troubled man who continuously showed his dark observations in videos throughout his social media accounts. He was often seen circulating downtown Denver on his scooter wearing elaborate demon, vampire, and ghoul role-playing costumes. Chris told the police that the homeless man threatened him and yelled at him to get out of his alley so he then in self-defense stabbed him in the neck thank you guys so much for watching make sure you keep a sharp eye out for clowns out there you never know what intentions they have comment below which story really disturbed you the most and i will see you guys in my next video